great expectations. Uh, slow down, will ya? Oh. Hey, Master Bread. Twisted Bread, is this sports car really yours? Yeah, I bought it. You were whining about not having customers at the laundromat. So how did you afford a sports car? Hmm. Ah, well, last year I turned my laundry into a five-story building. Then, believe it or not, the building's value skyrocketed five times. Five times? So if I turn the shop into a ten-story building, then its value will increase by ten. That's not necessarily how it works. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Twisted. <laughs> Hello and good day. Welcome to Bakery Realty. Uh, uh, building prices are rising. Is that true? You're from Bread Barbershop, aren't you? Welcome, sir. Indeed, real estate prices in Bakery Town are going through the roof. The laundromat rose five times, and the taco shack rose seven. They've all increased profits by expanding their buildings. If you expand your barbershop, there's just no telling how much money you can make. Then expand is what I'll do. But how many floors? I've heard it said the higher something is, the better. So, let's go for ten! Okay, then we'll go for ten! What? You're gonna knock it down, sir? Wow. The prices of real estate in Bakery Town are growing by the day. If I knock this place down and build a bigger building, I'll be rolling in dough! We'll have a cafe, a diner, a hospital, a bookstore, a clothing boutique, an internet cafe, a karaoke club, a cineplex, and a barber shop right there at the top. Mr. Bread, how could you knock down our little store? I love it so much. Quit being <gasps> sentimental! This is our chance to rake in the dinero! There won't be any profits during the construction, Master Bread. You okay with that? Yes, I am willing to take the loss. Plus, it will more than make up for it in the end. Just wait. I'll give you the cafe and Wilk the internet cafe. <laughs> the sofa goes there. And the table goes right over there. Master Bread. You, you scared me. What's wrong? The guys found something in the shop back there. You might want to come take a look. Uh, it's probably nothing of importance. Uh, what is that? When we broke through the wall, mm. we found this old mural, boss. It doesn't look like just any mural. What should we do? Should we stop the construction? Uh, don't stop construction! Just demolish it! Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Is this the barber shop where they found the mural? It was on the news today. It was on the news already? Let me introduce myself. Prestigious Breadbridge University Road Scholar, legendary art historian and archaeologist, Indiana Breads, Esquire. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wait, this tastes familiar. Ho, ho, ho! This mural right here is 600 years old. It's a work by the renowned artist Leonardo Bredvinci. The Bread Nalisa! An original Bread Vinci? Ain't he the one that painted the last sandwich? The Bread Nalisa is famously said to have been painted by Leonardo at an unknown location. I searched for it everywhere, only to find it in a shabby salon. All right, get scarce, will ya? I need to knock down this shabby salon for construction. What do you mean, knock it down? Are you crazy or something? This cultural artifact needs to be registered by UNESCO. If you ruin this great mural, you will be the target of worldwide criticism. <laughs> <laughs> the housing prices are skyrocketing through the roof. If you make this a 10-story building, you'll be worth 10 million. Uh, are you sure? Uh, you capitalist Bulgarian. This priceless painting must not be destroyed. Join the real world, why don't you? We're talking money here. Millions. You think you're better just because you're smart. You think so? Well, this smart guy will knock your block off, buddy. Knock it off! Where do you think you are? A boxing ring? I bet we could go up to 15 million. What? 15 <laughs> mil? Demolish that wall! And you, scrap! Uh, you'll regret bye it. Bye-bye, Mr. Hoity Toit. Oh, this construction is taking too long. It's Ooh. true. We need to work faster. Down with bread! Huh? Down with bread! Art over profit! Art over profit! Bread, you're destroying our culture! Stop it now! No way, not that archaeologist huh? guy again. Sure is, and now he's got protesters too. Quit making a spectacle of yourselves, will ya? With those tomatoes on him, he looks just like a pizza. A really green pizza, though, huh? <laughs> culture before green! Shame! Shame! Shame. Shame. <sighs> 
Oh, all those people think they're so high and mighty. I'm exhausted. If you destroy this mural, you will be vilified forever. If you make this a ten-story building, you'll be worth ten million! Destroy your culture! Shame on you! Shame on you! I can't sleep because of that stupid mural! I'm gonna destroy that nuisance myself! That bread and Elise has nothing but trouble! What's going on? They're in tents out here? Camping out in front of my barber shop! Really? How am I gonna get inside? Breaking and entering like a common thief? I should be home sleeping in my bed. Look at this moldy mural. I'm gonna get rid of you here and now, Missy! When I wipe you out, I'm gonna be a wealthy man! That was easier than I thought. Uh, oh, now who could be calling me this late at night? Talk to me! Master Bread, that archaeologist dude is on TV right now! Wilk, I'm very busy right now. If it's not important... This is important, sir. That mural you found today is worth 20 million! Did, did you say... Yeah! You really uh, are gonna be a millionaire, uh, Master Bread! Uh, 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 Ten million dollars for a building? Twenty million for a pity? Why? My foolish hands have betrayed me. But wait, I might have ruined that mural, but I can paint it again. If I do it carefully, no one will suspect anything. I am a genius! <laughs> Stop suppressing. <sighs> Boy, protesting must be really hard work. Everyone's so sleepy mm, out there. Through that. <gasps> Master Bread! <laughs> Wake up, Master Bread! Can you hear me? Huh? What is that? What's what? Ah! We've been vandalized! You can say that again! Who could have done such a thing? Destroying a Leonardo Bread Finchie! What a monster! I'm the monster! <gasps> I ruined the Leonardo! I destroyed it so I could demolish the building! Then I tried to fix it, but I failed! <laughs> what if Wait, I you... <laughs> Maybe try not to think about all the millions you've lost. That's <gasps> not helping, Wilk! <laughs> Did I hear you correctly? Did you really ruin that mural, Brad? Uh, uh, it's fine! <laughs> Out of my way! <laughs> oh, the mural! It's been ruined! You destroyed the bread and Elisa, didn't you? Why don't you just admit it? How could you possibly have done such a terrible thing? You leave me no choice but to put this on social media. Get ready to get canceled, mister. You're gonna go broke. That bread's a crumb. My whole life is ruined. I'll never be able to show my face again. <laughs> what? Master Bread, the news must have spread. There's a giant crowd. What? Wilk, Choco, we gotta hide! Uh -huh. oh, we came to see the ruined mural! Please, please forgive me! I didn't mean to do it, honest! No way! There it is, you guys! Yeah, wow. it's the wreck Nalisa! Wow, what a riot! I can't believe I'm actually seeing this! Would you mind taking a photo? Me too! What is happening here? Master Brad, look at this! Ooh. This Rekna Lisa thing is trending everywhere now. Ooh. People are making memes about it all over social media. Look! The statue of Rekerty, Wrecked Sphinx, Ross Wreck, Mount Wreckmore, Wrecked Flowers, even the Wrecked Supper. So all these mm. people saw these online and Ooh. came here? Yep, that's right. Ooh. I can't believe so many people showed up to Ooh. see a dumb mural. Wilk, Chaku, get to work right away! Gotta collect those admission fees! We're charging to get into the barbershop mm -hmm. now? We're no ordinary barbershop. We're the Rekna Lisa Barbershop! Welcome all. Come see the Rekna Lisa. $10 to see it, $50 for a Rekna Lisa hairstyle. Ta da! Master Bread, you're so good with hair and ruining murals! No, no, you're far too flattering. Wow, he really turned things around. Good for Master Bread! I guess. Well, huh? send in on ex-customer, if you please. Yep, come in and see the mural. Welcome, we're the Rekna Lisa Barbershop. Huh? 
country milk bilk. <laughs> Howdy, everyone. Wilk, where have you been? Huh? Hey, you're not Wilk. Pardon me, is Wilk here? Oh, Bilk, is huh? that you? Great to see you. It's been so long. Wow, this looks like a cool place to work. Way to go. <laughs> you're funny. Master uh. Brett, this is my cousin. His name is Bilk. Mm. He's here for a trip. He's a soy milk from the countryside. Hello there, sir. It's an honor to meet you. I've heard a lot of great things about Bread Barbershop. Oh, come on now. Enjoy your stay. Wilk, our customers will be arriving soon, so prepare the raspberry syrup. Yes, Master Bread. Mm. Can I come with you and watch your work, cuz? Sure. <laughs> the raspberries go in the blender and then press the button. Stop! Ow! Wilk, what on earth are you doing? What? Is something wrong? If you blend raspberries like this, it'll destroy the vitamin C and lycopene. They turn to mush and taste gross. Why? Well, what is that? Just give me a second. <clears throat> Berries go in the millstone. Then you turn it and turn it like so. Wilk, what's taking so long? Our customers are... Huh? A millstone? It's Ooh. finished. Why don't you try some? <clears throat> Um, oh, it's like, it's like eating a mouthful of dewy wild berries grown in the natural fields of the Divine Alps. I've never had syrup like this in my whole life. Bill, would you like to work at my barbershop? <gasps> Is Master Bread hiring him? I'll give it a try. Sure. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wilk, bring that dough over to me now. Just a moment, Master Bread. Hold on. Uh, now let's get this dough going. Uh, what happened? Huh? Hmm. What are you doing? I need to make the dough and take it to Master Bread now. Wilk! Uh, oh, uh, 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 a dough needed uh, by a machine doesn't stretch well. It's inferior. Uh, 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 Why are you jumping all over my precious dough, Bilk? This is what you call foot needing. Oh, Master Craftsman, do this! Uh, oh. hmm. <gasps> How can you jump rope with it? Awesome! Bilk, you rock! <laughs> Amazing. There's nothing this kid can't do. The scent of fresh brewed coffee. Huh? Ah! That nutty fragrance will vanish if you use a machine, you know. First, roast the coffee beans yourself. Next, stone grind. Lastly, you pour over hot water at 205 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> uh. Uh. What is that smell? Master Bread, hmm? here's a freshly brewed espresso. Take that back. Ha-ha! <laughs> now that's a cup! So rich! How did you make this incredible taste? I don't really get it. We do it like this every day in our hometown. Uh, Bilk, would you like to be in charge of inventory management? Huh? Hmm. But, sir... Stick to uh... cleaning! The new inventory manager uh... is my boy Bilk! That sounds <laughs> real good. Hmm, <laughs> the smell of sweet raspberry jam. And this fluffy meringue is spot on. Since Bilk started, the quality of ingredients has gone up. <laughs> Bilk, what's wrong? What happened? The flavors aren't working. What's the matter with them? Oh, my word, it's wonderful. Have you lost your taste buds? These cheap, awful uh. chocolates make it impossible to create good syrup. Hmm? This chocolate's made from top-grade cacao. It's not cheap. Master Brad, with your permission, I would like to raise cacao trees of my own. Raise cacao trees yourself? Uh, don't you think that... Look, sir, uh... as the proud son of a farmer, I must raise them from <clears throat> seedlings. It'll be Choco Ribby! <laughs> Okay. <sighs> so, these are gonna turn into cacao trees? The land never, mm -hmm. ever lies to you. You won't have to wait too long, sir. You'll see my cacao beans really soon! Oh, yeah? So, around when? 
very soon. Mm -hmm. About three years? <laughs> three years! We really have to wait that long? Bilk, tell me you're kidding. Three years is nothing. While we're at it, let's plant some blueberries, some strawberries, and coffee beans, too. Farming and making the ingredients from scratch is so much better. We just have to wait three years? Mm -hmm. Then let's do it! <laughs> What? It's already 4 a.m., people. Let's move it, everyone. Uh, surely, come on. My eyes won't open. No way, give me another hour. The masters say crops grow by listening to their farmer's footsteps. Now let's go weed the field first. Oh, my poor back. All this plowing is killing me. I don't know if my hand works anymore. It's so red and swollen. <gasps> Choco, your hands look like they're chapped. Oh, no. You're kidding. I say we take a quick break, or else we all might die. Hold on. Uh, Where are you guys going? You're not leaving. Bilk, give us a break. We're getting so sore. Shh. The seeds and sprouts can hear you. Now let's stop whining and get to work. Let's grow! Let's grow. Let's grow. <sighs> While we're at it, we should plant those strawberries and maybe bananas. But the field is too small. You're right about that, sir. All right, I either go big or I go home. A little to the left? That's more like it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Here, I have some snacks for everyone. Yeah, snacks! You know, the more I work, the more I think farming suits me. I just gotta work hard and try my best! Same here, and I feel healthier too! This snack ain't bad! You're talking like a farmer now! <laughs> One year later. What a harvest! <laughs> Seems like hard work does pay off. It is true. The land never ever lies! Bilk, come over here. What a super crop! Huh? Where is he? He went to the barber shop. Hmm? Bilk? Bilk, what are you doing? Look at that crop. Let's harvest it and then party! Oh, wow, that's cool. Hmm? Go harvest it yourself, sir. Huh? Hey, is there something wrong? Where are you off to? I traveled here because I was sick of country life. But it's the same here as it was in my hometown. It's actually uh, worse than my town. Later, guys. Uh, how on earth is this a countryside? Wow, a bumper crop. Yay! <laughs> Chip's plot. I don't understand how you still have a job. I'm never coming back Wait, here again. Wait, come back. <laughs> Please. Uh, Are you everyone says he's hmm? the best in town. Yeah. Dishily <laughs> gave him three stars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why does everyone think this bread guy so great? Uh. Wilk! Huh? Huh? Come on, Wilk. This isn't that hard. Don't drop the toppings. Man, he seems strict. <laughs> that poor kid's probably just doing his best. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Really great stuff. Oh. My favorite little employee. Master Brett is known for being strict and mean, which means this kid must be really good. Ha! Looks like I should do some recruiting today. What's wrong with that guy? See you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> Can't wait to play games with cheese. Hey, Wilk. Huh? Oh, potato chip, right? Yep. What do you say we have a chat? What for? Uh, Wilk, what do you think about coming to work for me? Go work at your shop? No, no. Just think uh, it over. Here's my card. I'll pay you double whatever you're making at Bread's Place. Uh, d double? Hmm. Mm. On top of that, we have cool stuff, like stock options and vacation days and the like. Sorry, but no. Huh? I wouldn't trade anything for my job at Bread Barber Shop. Uh, Plus, I don't even know what stock options are. See ya! Uh, well, loyal on top of being a good worker. 
Now I really gotta make him work for me. A raise would be nice, but Mr. Bread's more important than money. There you are! <laughs> oh, landlady! <laughs> when are you gonna pay up on your rent? <laughs> You're three months late! I know. I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, move out by the end of the week if you can't pay up! <gasps> It's Wilk. Huh? Our mom needs surgery soon. Yeah, okay, I'll send money over there. Huh? <gasps> I haven't paid the water bill, or gas, or electricity. Ah! I need money! Oh. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Hi, Mr. Chip. Yes, it's me. Come see. Wilkes mm -hmm. dropped off a letter for you. That's weird. What did it say? He said he's quitting. Hmm. Is that so? Let's start work. <laughs> Look at me hiring my own employee. I better be a good boss on his first day of work. But why isn't he here yet? Mr. Chip! Ah! <sighs> I'm so sorry that I'm so late. Come on! How can you be late on your first day? <clears throat> Welcome! Your hair salon is farther from my place than Brett Barber's shop. I had to run. You live uh, far? That's tough. Hang on. Huh? Uh, what, what's going on? It's a personal driver for Wilk. Huh? So now you'll come to work in this. Uh, wow, that's awesome. He'll pick you up at your house every uh, day. So, let's see what you're made of. Okay, where should I clean up first? Uh. No, no, huh? give me that. You're too talented for cleaning. I mean, let's see how good you are at styling. What? You sure you want me to? Yeah. As an ex-employee of Master Bread, I can't wait to see what you can do. Hmm, a customer. Here's your shot. Huh? Uh, 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 oh, man. It's the first time I've styled anyone. Hmm. Time to give it my all. Oh. Ah! Ah! What did you even do? I'm never coming back here again. Uh, no, please. Uh, uh, what was uh, that? Well, it's been a while, so my muscles are stiff, you know. You have stiff muscles? Uh, you should have told me so. Huh? Mm. Uh, mm. I've obviously hired the best masseuses in town to help you out. We can work again once you're all better. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> hmm. My phone's not working. I don't know why. No worries. Huh? Just use mine. <gasps> Whoa, thanks a bunch. Oh, I'm starving. Hungry, huh? <gasps> well, that won't do. <gasps> Might as well fly out to the real thing. Best lunch ever! Hmm. Oh, I'm in a total food coma. You tired? Ah! Good thing I have this nap station. <laughs> this is the greatest! <laughs> <laughs> what a ridiculous meme! <laughs> this guy better be the outstanding employee Brett says he is. <laughs> hey, Will! What? I need to go run errands outside the shop. Look after things for me. Wait, so hmm? what do I do if we don't get any customers? Ah, you could just hang out. What do I care? One more thing. My friend really wants to see my new workplace. Can he come over? Uh, whatever. It's fine. Sweet! Thanks, boss! Be sure to promote the shop to him <laughs> and maybe offer a discount. You got it! Ah... <sighs> How nice to have an employee look after the store while I'm gone. Dang it, boss again. I'll never lose to you. <laughs> I know, right? There was raspberry filling everywhere. <laughs> Wilk! 
That's the last straw! This <laughs> place is a mess! What did you even do? Well, you did say that I could have a friend here, so I invited Cheese over. But Sausage Herd and got jealous and wanted to come over too. And then I thought it'd be rude not to invite Choco. Oh, and the massage therapists are just really nice, so I invited them. I can't take it anymore! Brad, mm -hmm. what is that milk carton kid's problem? What are you talking about? You know what I mean! Look at what he's done to my shop! It's a disaster! Ah, so that's where Wilk went. He went to work for the likes of you. This is all your fault! You gotta take him back! But you're the one who wanted him in the first place. Seems the kid is your problem now. Taco and the dog I miss, though. Uh, you crusty old monster! Has anyone seen Master Potato Chip? Hmm? Is everything... You blow my my mother was a sourdough! But please don't fight! Violence is bad! Are they fighting over me? Give Wilk back! He's the best employee we've ever had in the history of ever! You'll never get him! Wilk's the coolest and best worker of all time! Take ah! chocolate or sausage! Anyone! Stop Wilk! <laughs> oh, sourdough! Mr. Chip! Huh? I know you want to give me a job, but violence is not the answer! I could never work for someone who beats people up like you! I'll work for Master Bread forever! You what? Sir, did he hurt you? I'll never leave you again, Master Bread! No! Uh... I'm so sorry! Ah. <sighs> no customers for the fifth day in a row. Huh? Wilk, are you even listening? Oh. Custard never goes in a jelly oh. pill! Never. I'll remember next time! No, I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> Clean this up right now! Sure thing, sir! A home for Wilk. <sighs> I feel almost curdled after that long day. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Ugh, Landlady Bread, what's the matter? I could have sworn I paid rent this month. Well, it is uh? related to that. Things are getting expensive these days, young man. The price of real estate just goes up, you know. That's why your rent has to go up again. What? That's not fun when my salary stays the same. How much is the rent going up? Not very much at all. Just a thousand dollars. A thousand who? You should be grateful I'm not doubling it like other <gasps> landlords. But then I'm afraid that's just too much money for me to pay you. My word, how do you expect me to keep up in today's economy? Get it together. But I, I can't afford to live here. So? Move somewhere else, it's no difference to me. But wait, but please! Uh, Landlady! Can't uh, hear the sounds of uh, whining! One thousand, one thousand dollars more? I get paid one thousand five hundred. After rent, food, city bus, bills, and anything fun like Donut Ranger movies and everything else I gotta pay, I barely get by. But another thousand? No, even I know that math doesn't work. Oh no, this is bad. I'm done for. Well, what's up? Uh, Choco. Who beat you up? Uh, my rent's going up. She said a thousand dollars increase. A thousand? You sure she didn't say a hundred? It's true. She said a thousand bucks for sure. <laughs> Where will I find that money? <laughs> mm. Why not just move to a new place? I'm sure you can find someplace cheaper around. My place, so full of unforgettable memories I want to cherish. So silly. You know memories won't keep food on the table, right? I guess I really have to move. Hello, sir. Welcome to Half-Baked Realty for all your moving needs. Now, how can I be of help to you? I need a new home. Someplace cheap, but with a barbecue and a pool. <laughs> no, you're asking far too much. You can only pick one. Cheap or good. Is that so? Oh. 
However, I'm sure we can find something that works for your needs. There's one on the market that's both cheap and good. Ta-da, here it is, your home. Wow! Mm. Huh? But I thought you said this place was good. That's true. The bathroom's a quarter mile from the bedroom. Great for exercise. Exercise is good, so this house is definitely good. I don't know. You and I might have different definitions of the word good. This just won't work. Do you have anything else? The next one is cheap and also great. There's just one little flaw. Uh, is this another version of good? Ah, uh, no. It's just a little far away. Huh. That's not bad at all. I'll just leave for work earlier. Mr. Wilk! <sighs> We're almost there. Great, and how soon? Eh, just another four or five hours left to go. Four hours? But we've already been driving for four hours already. Is this place in a whole different town? It's still in Bakery Town. It's the outer suburbs. Living out in the country might be good for you. Huh? Bring me back to the city! I'm not ready to be put out to pasture! So which definition of good is this one? Very good. I guarantee you're gonna like this next house. Here's the place. It's right in town and it's cheap. Oh, super good. Let's check it out. <laughs> Holy butterscotch. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a call real quick. You take your time looking around. Wow. Clean, so much room, it's perfect. This is the one. <laughs> hey there. Are you here to look around the house? Yeah, are you the owner? This place is so cool. <laughs> cool, have a look around. Uh, hang on, Wilk here. How's it going? Forgot to tell you one tiny detail. A teensy problem with the place. Problem? It's super, plus I met the landlord. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there is no landlord. Huh? That place has been haunted for years. The ghosts like to pretend to be your landlord. Uh? <laughs> 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 I'll never have a home. So many places. But none for a broke milk carton. <laughs> Please don't be sad, Wilk. I know we can find you a home with a good, positive mindset. Easy for you. You're not the one without a home. Each house is either weird, haunted, or a million miles out. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is still one more place we haven't seen yet. Yeah? It's uh, listed as unique, which we can work around, but I guess it couldn't hurt to take a look. Well, let's head inside, after you. <sighs> yes, I know. The location is right in the middle of town, which is why it's so small. I shouldn't have even brought you. We can go somewhere else. This is it! Huh? This is the place I've been waiting for! It's so convenient, too! Show me this house before all the other ones. What does it cost? It's uh, five hundred dollars a month. Five hundred? Yay! I'm in. I want to sign right now. That long search paid off in the end. <sighs> this new house is just right for a little milk box. Hey there, my house. I'm Wilk, your new friend. Can't wait to live in here. <sighs> Chips chip. Chip. Uh, just another day without a customer. Excuse me, is uh, this a salon? Uh, <laughs> sure is, sir. This is the best barbershop in town, run by the one and only potato chip. <gasps> Look, babe! Uh, over there! Red barbershop! Hey, I've heard that Master Bread who works there is supposed to be the best! He is! There's no greater barber in the whole world! 
I heard that if you don't reserve an appointment two months in advance, you can't get uh, in. I want him to do my hair. Hurry, let's go stand in line. Uh, can't believe we almost went to this place. <laughs> <laughs> Brad! That guy's ruining my life! If only I could control that stupid steel slice up! Huh? Hang on! Yeah! I've got it! You're done for, Brad! <laughs> It's finally done! This computer chip will allow me to control bread wherever he goes. The control chip goes on me right here. And I just need some way to stick this on bread's forehead. Then he'll do whatever I tell him to. Time to practice my master plan. Yeah! Ooh, awesome! Excellent! <laughs> Now go and plant yourself on that crusty old wheat. Well, Bread, your business is about to expire. Welcome to Bread Barber Shop. Uh, disgusting. Who let a fly in here? Uh, 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 huh? Ah, it worked! It really worked! <laughs> Think of all the fun I'll have now! Watch out, Fred! First things first, let's ruin that face. Uh, 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 what the? Hey, uh, be you good? Mr. Bread, uh, what are you doing, sir? Do what? you like to dance? Cause here's a boogie! Uh, no! <laughs> Now they've both lost their marbles. <laughs> There's more where that came from. <laughs> is that how he normally is? I think he's finally lost it from working too hard. The pain is worth it to sabotage bread. Uh, uh, I need a quick break. Sabotage requires hydration. Uh, uh, wait, don't make him drink water. <laughs> Only the hot sauce for bread. Oh, Mr. Bread, don't do this to yourself. <laughs> How do you like that? You'll be suffering in no time. But there's even more options. <laughs> Wasabi down the hat. <laughs> Well, surely everyone thinks you're off your rocker by now. But even that is not enough. I want to make sure I ruin his entire business. Aha! So what if he raises the employee's salaries? Surely he'll lose tons of money fast if he does that. All right. Your employees are going to make ten times more. Mr. Red, what's wrong with you? Please say something, sir. Uh, master... A new contract. Sign it now. New? Uh, uh, Employee pay. Uh, All wages increase tenfold starting today. Uh, He's lost uh, it. Every time uh, he has to pay us, he cries all the way home. Plus, everyone uh, can only work four uh, hours a day. Sometimes uh, weeks without seeing the inside of my house. There's more. No way. Once a month, employees will receive bonuses and vacation time. Uh, <gasps> <laughs> Just tell us if he did something wrong. Don't play these mind games. I don't understand. Come on. Just sign it already. <gasps> <laughs> Just perfect. Your business will crumble when you waste all your money on your staff. Huh? Why are there so many customers? For tonight's top story, a shop where employees work harder than their boss. So inspiring. What motivates your staff in your work? Brett has shown us that he's a boss who cares about us, and so we should work harder. Huh? Be right there! Yeah! Huh? <sighs> Welcome to Brett Barbershop. Thank you for coming today. You can choose any hairstyle you like, and we'll be with you shortly. Thanks! <laughs> Their service is over the top! 
What a lovely place to work. Mix, mix, uh -huh. mix. Mix, 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 mix. Are there any complaints about working at the bread barber shop? I can't talk right now. I have to work. Ugh. I'll make a thousand cans of cream by the time the day is done. Welcome to bread barber shop, please. Oh, I've never seen such hard work in my whole life. Uh, no way. Yeah, I tried to make bread go broke, but I ended up making everyone happier. No time for this. Bread, cut all your prices by 50%. Oh, haircuts are now 50% off. <laughs> yep, our boss is gone cuckoo. <laughs> I've always wanted to come here, but was never able to afford it before today. You've made an old woman's dreams come true. <laughs> I used to tell my kids to cut their own hair to save on costs, but now I can have theirs done by a professional. Wait, it's so cool. Super cool. Well, seems Fred Barbershop's never been more popular. His generosity is becoming famous throughout town. Uh, he's supposed to be broke, but nothing is going my way! Stupid popular love of bread! Uh, here's what I'll do. Make him throw away everything he loves. Bread, take your car keys and throw them away! <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks to your generous donation, we'll be able to take the orphans to picnics and school outings. Thank, thank you, you for, for the cars! <laughs> <laughs> I can take more away from your life. Bread, you're gonna give away the deed to your very house! As mayor of Bakery Town, I give you my thanks. Your house will make a wonderful new nursing home. Thank you, Bread. Such a kind man. It just warms my old heart. <laughs> Why could I never win? He's doing better than ever! This isn't fair! It's time to take things to the extreme. Throw every last penny you make away! Bakery Town's very own hero, Bread. Your selflessness is an inspiration to us all. I hereby make you a knight. I heard that only one bread every 100 years gets knighted. Well, there's no one who deserves it more. <laughs> now, our hero statue will be revealed. All his wealth was donated. The most selfless bread in the whole world. His name will be in the history books for all time. Yeah! They, they made a statue of him out of gold? Long live bread! 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 Uh, okay, bread. Guess I'll have to use my last resort. <laughs> You're gonna go get the deed to your business and come outside and give it to me! Yes! The bread barber shop will soon be mine! Bread, bread barber, barber shop now, now belongs, belongs to, to Jim! <laughs> 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 My head. What's going on? Master uh, Red! Master Red! Uh, 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 what's gotten Master into you? Red! Uh, Master uh, Master put me down! Red! This hurts Master my back! Uh, 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 hey! Uh, uh, I'll sue every last one of you! Stop this merriment right now! Uh, one year later. Mom? What's that big statue of? Why, that's the hero of Bakery Town. His name is Bread. Maybe you'll grow up to be a hero and a generous man <laughs> just like him. <laughs> Everybody loves Bread. Potato Chip loves him so much he's polishing the statue for free. Wow, what an awesome guy! I want to be just like Bread when I grow up. Of course, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs>